Hiya once again everybody, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Let's talk a little bit about how some of these desktop computers have evolved over the years. So I get so many different brands and models in my shop, I'm starting to see some things change. Uh, this is an older Optiplex Dell, kind of a more of a compact version of this. Kind of common stuff you see small graphics card there, power supply, you got some CPU pin hookups there, there's 24 pin underneath this underneath this bay here if you take all this apart kinda kinda your run-of-the-mill Optiplex there and then there's there's these you know larger ones here um, a little bit newer Optiplex kinda the same thing general uh, layout a motherboard your 24 pin connector, your hard drive here, your power supply, your your CPU connector here. You know, basically a lot of the things that you see on like a desktop motherboard are also being put into these. You know, these are Optiplexes, obviously. A lot of the same layout to these different boards are exactly the same. Same connectors, same type of way of getting power. But I want to tell you. Manufacturers are getting clever and they're trying to find ways to cut corners and Dell is definitely one of them. I can give you a, a nice example here. Let me show you what I mean. Got a Dell XPS here, fairly new. This is a XPS model D28M. Fairly new. Uh, I got it checked into my shop and I opened it up just to have a look, just to take a quick blink gander on the inside. And I was quite surprised to see the changes with these newer XPS desktops. Let's take a look at this here. You know, at first glance, everything looks pretty normal. Got a couple sticks of RAM in here. Obviously, your processor, heat sink, stock. You've got a hard drive here, which is sort of unfortunate for today's uh, computers, <clears throat> unless you're talking about just for storage. But this is actually the only drive in this computer. You see here, it does have a, a spot here for an M.2 no problem right there for uh, yeah, an M.2 NVMe and it even has a location over here for a, a SATA connector power and, and, and SATA data for an SSD 2.5 inch right there you know pretty standard stuff there you have a PCI Express slot and some some mini PCI Express slots here uh, all that's pretty normal you have a small form factor power supply funny here it won't give you the the uh, how many watts it is it just it's all in Chinese it says output and it's in Chinese uh, it does give you amperage on all the rails or whatever for whatever case whatever you might be looking at there got a you know Wi-Fi card here for wireless that's all good there Got some SATA connectors there. That's great. Uh, so, but what really is surprising to me, and I haven't seen this before, is I am looking for the 24-pin connector on this board. Looking for the 24-pin, I see some four pins up here. I'm looking back behind here, I don't see any. 24 pin connectors on this board. I do see this one 6 pin connector right here. And I'm going, okay. And that is labeled ATX SIS, which is your ATX system. <clears throat> Everyone, so apparently, proprietary to Dell, of course. They've substituted the 24-pin power supply to the board with a 6-pin connector. And I'm going, okay, well, that's, that's new. That's pretty neat. If you follow these cables on around, 
you have these two guys up here, two four pins, and they're labeled CPU 1 and CPU 2. So obviously that is where your CPU you know, power would be given, your headers there. That's kind of normal. They're kind of spread apart though in two four pins. It's a little different. Then I start looking at these. Oh look, so we got we got power connector here to our to our SATAs up here. Right? That's to our SSD SATA power connector. And I follow that on around back. And I follow that around. You know, that usually goes back into yeah, that usually comes back around to the power supply, right? But finding this out here, looking following, they actually connect straight to the board. And that is labeled SATA power. So that is how these connectors, and that is how your drive, and even the hard drive, that's even how the hard drive is getting power through the motherboard which in turn is coming through this six pin connector down here. So things are changing as time goes on, at least with these Dell um, XPS computers and motherboards. My big thing as a technician is when I get a computer in like this, and it doesn't power on at all. It acts as if it's dead. I usually take my bench power supply and I plug in my 24 pin and I plug in my CPU pins there and I use my own power supply to test the board. Now, unless there's an adapter that I'm not aware of and there very well may be, I haven't looked into this. Oh look, at least it also gives you a PCI Express connector in case you want to put a video card in here I guess anyway unless there's an adapter that I'm not aware of you know I really don't know exactly how I would test this board for power with a test power supply the only thing that I would know to do at this, at this time when this video was made was to go ahead and order one of these power supplies that has that six pin adapter on it and keep it around my shop for testing boards like this as they come in. At the moment, at the time of this video, that's all that I can think of. If tomorrow I get another one of these in and, it's a, and, and it doesn't power on, I have to be able to test the power supply. I have to be able to test the, you know, the motherboard to be sure it's getting proper power with a known good power supply. So if any of you guys have any ideas or any comments on this, leave, it, leave, a, leave a comment down in the chat. I'm, I'm curious if there is an adapter. I haven't, like I said, I haven't researched. I just grabbed my camera to show everybody this new style of power setup in the Dell XPS computers. It's very interesting. Things change. Things change with technology. But uh, very interesting there. Uh, as a technician, it's very interesting to me. <clears throat> so, I'd like, to, I'd like to learn if anybody else has any ideas on how we would test if this board was, say, not coming on at all. Anyways, I thought I would share a little something in this video. Very different from previous Dell XPSs or any desktop computer for that matter. At least they aren't using, uh, you know, laptop motherboards like some are. Or oh, that's kind of where things were going for a while there. I don't really see that with this. This is kind of a decent board, actually. It's a shame they only used a, one, you know, a mechanical hard drive here, uh, which tells me they probably cheaped out a little bit. And that's okay. No, nothing wrong with that. You know, if, if you don't mind a slower computer and a less reliable one at that. But anyway, thought I'd share with you guys. Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon.